Now it's here. And now it's not. It's just a dream, as far as I know. Alright, so this is a weird one that I'd like to title the juice box theory. And there's a lot that goes into that before we get into the dream itself. So in the dream, it explained to me what juice box theory would be if it existed. It's basically saying that it's an item that you don't remember having, but you also don't remember not having. Like finding a juice box in your fridge that you think, well, I don't remember buying juice boxes. But then again, I kind of don't remember not buying juice boxes. So maybe it was there the whole time. We don't know. So basically, I was in charge of some sort of ring of showing these people the underworld. And sometimes we had a hard time getting there. The first trip was to an underground, it was like an ocean of lava, where it had little islands and a bunch of old, what looked like just sunken ships, because they were all torn apart, and some of them were shipwrecked. And I'm basically, I'm just driving through, showing somebody, yeah, and here we are, this is New Jersey, and this is what it's going to look like after the fact, because, you know, <laughs> dream logic. <laughs> and basically, I just drove through it and got to the other side. The guy's like, oh, okay, I, I, I see, that's, that's nice. So I go home. The next dream day, I get told, well, you have to take this next person over to the underworld of torrential wind and rainfall. So it's basically like an endless hurricane that just comes and never ends and it has these big beasts in it. So me and the person meet up and say, all right, we're going this way. So we're going through. It actually kind of looks like my neighborhood. And we get to a part that I know they're working on right now. They're extending roads. And we get to the end. And the guy who's building it looks a lot like Tim Allen. He's building the road. And he said, oh, no, we can't go this way yet. See the house right there? Just stay over there for now. I'll let you know when it's done. It might take six to eight months. So here comes juice box theory. So me and this other person have to blend into this house for six to eight months and, you know, make them be convinced that we were there the whole time, which I know sounds ridiculous, but it almost like the dream skips ahead a few months and we're there just hanging out and the family doesn't seem to notice. You know, I'm... I guess I'm living downstairs in a living room. The guy I was taking to this place was living upstairs in the top bedroom. And they had a, a younger person live with them, too. I guess their daughter was there, too. And she was oh, yeah, I, they were there the whole time. I, I don't know. I guess I had a brother and some uncle. Never, never remember them not being here, you know? They must be right. So as we were getting ready to go, she's like, oh, I got to come too, right? And sure, I guess I got paid based on commission, <laughs> which is funny in its own right. But this was uh, the theory of the juice box theory. And we go and we find the underworld of the torrential rain. And it left off where I was taking some third trip. I don't remember which underworld this was going for. I feel like it was some sort of void world where there was it wasn't a desert but it was like a nothingness where there wasn't sand but there wasn't trees there was nothing it was just flat ground it wasn't bright it wasn't dark it was a weird thing that's all i remember we never made it we had to go juice box theory again at somebody else's house because the road was being worked on so i thought well that could be a great theme for a movie the juice box theory so maybe i'll make that into a full film someday but I don't know. But that is the third and final one for now. But I'm sure there'll be more as more and more episodes of Crazy Dreams happen. So I'll see you next time.